Mark chapter 11, verses 15 to 18. So they came to Jerusalem, and he went into the temple and began to drive out those who bought and sold there. He upset the tables of the money changers and the seats of the dealers in pigeons, and he would not allow anyone to carry goods through the temple court. Then he began to teach them and said, does not scripture say, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a robber's cave? The chief priests and the scribes heard of this and looked for a way to bring about his death, for they were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was spellbound by his teaching. It was on the Monday that religion got in the way. An outsider would have thought that it was a pet shop's fire sale and the outsider in some ways wouldn't have been far wrong. Only it wasn't household pets, it was pigeons that were being purchased. And it wasn't a fire sale, it was a rip-off stall in a holy temple, bartering birds for sacrifice. And the price was something only the rich could afford. No discounts to students, pensioners, disabled types, or those on benefits. Then he, the holiest man on earth, went through the bizarre bazaar like a bull in a china shop. So the doves got liberated and the pigeon sellers got angry and the police went crazy and the poor people clapped like mad because he was making a sign that God was for everybody, not just for those who could afford him. He turned the tables on Monday, the day that religion got in the way. <laughs>